All right, coming in at number 66 on our 2024 NHL draft rankings is right shot defenseman. Did the ears perk up? With an average rank of 61.5, it's Colton Roberts from the Vancouver Giant. Yeah, Ross, we know uh, right shot defensemen with size are coveted in the draft. Well, Colton Roberts, right shot defenseman. I've got him listed at 6'4", 194 pounds. So he checks those boxes. So right away, he's going to have scouts' attention. He was a big part of the Vancouver Giants' decor this season. In 62 games, he had seven goals, 20 assists, good for 27 points. In five playoff games, he had one assist. They were bounced by the Everett Silvertips. But Ross, unfortunately... The stat that I'm looking at most here is the Jacob Chikrin special at minus 30. Yeah, that's not ideal. And now Vancouver is in somewhat of a rebuild. They had their kind of high when they had Fabian Lee sell. They had Zach Ostapchuk. Heck, Ostapchuk was Colton Roberts' captain for part of last season before ultimately Ostapchuk was traded to Winnipeg. But before that, it was like, Okay, look, they they thought they had one more run in them. Obviously, Stapchuk had that great playoffs the year before Colton Roberts got there. And then, as it does, ebbs and flows in junior hockey. This was not a team that was ever going to win the WHL championship or anything like that. So if you play big minutes on a bad team, I get you're going to be a little chilly in the plus minus. But I just think that defensively, there's a lot to be desired. It's not a matter of his skating, though. He can skate really well. Sometimes it's just decision-making or puck control coming out of his own end that are causing turnovers and maybe some errant passes here and there that need to be cleaned up. So I think that there's there's a lot of polishing to do with this prospect. But look, in this range, we're saying that about a lot of guys. So what makes him better or worse than other players in this range, I think will be in the eye of the scout. And I think some scouts are going to have him a little bit higher. We know that Bob McKenzie, the people he spoke to, weren't as high on him. They have him as an honorable mention outside of the top 64. So uh, Wheeler, honorable mention outside the top 64. Good thing McKean's does a top nine, a top 100 because uh, he's at 65. So also out of the top 64. And then Elite Prospects, the highest on him at, at 58. And again, we mentioned the skating, obviously a part of that. But um, what, what are your thoughts when you started watching more of this kid? So definitely, Ross, you talked about range. Now you're talking about range in scouts rankings. But the range on this kid with his size, with how long his stick is, his ability to uh, have tight gaps, get his stick in passing lanes and shot lanes and break things up. That's definitely one of his attributes. Um, Now, the issue is for a guy of his size, you get the range and typically you think, all right, he's going to be a nasty physical defenseman in front of the net boxing out. Unfortunately, from what I was able to read from scouts, a lot of them mentioned he's not really able to properly box out and he's not winning those one-on-one battles. And when you're a guy with this size in a junior league, there's really no excuse for you not to be winning those one-on-one battles. Like you, you got to be out muscling and out outpowering uh, like at least 50% of the league, if not more, probably closer to 75% of the league. So that's very concerning for me. Um, now, a, a lot of good things here. Good vision, nice pass. You can shoot the puck. Uh, Sportsnet calls him a two-way D-man that can move well. But, Ross, I really don't know what to think of Colton Roberts here because we're looking at a big defenseman that isn't able to play physical and isn't able to win one-on-one battles. That's not great. And then we'll, if you're like, okay, well, he must put up a lot of points then. 27 points in 62 games when you're one of the top defensemen in the league doesn't really jump out at the page to, to me. So I'm looking at Colton Roberts and I'm thinking, what what is this guy? I, I don't know where I slot him, what I'm looking for him to turn into. Unfortunately, Ross, for me, this is another low ranking for me. Usually, usually I don't do this. This is one of my lowest ranking days ever uh, for a trio here. I'm only giving Colton Roberts two stars here. Uh, I think there's so many other right shot defensemen that intrigue me and I think have more potential and I can label as an offensive guy, a defensive guy, a physical guy. Whereas Colton Roberts, he, when you say, when you, when you say you're a two way defenseman in, in the draft process, 
it, it's almost like the old saying where it's like if you don't have one big talent, like wh- what's your standout quality? And that's yeah. I think what's missing here. That that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So I. I, I think he's going to get drafted by a team and he's he's going to have some good development and he, they might be able to find something for him to excel at. But as of now, through the research I've done, two out of five stars here. If I'm looking for a right shot defenseman in the second round, I'm looking elsewhere. That's Colton Roberts coming in at number 66 with an, an average value of 61.5. For more draft profiles, go check us out on YouTube at Send Central. <laughs> 